Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we will create a Kafka producer to produce JSON message using Spring Kafka library. Well, let's head over to the IntelliJ idea and let's go and let's create a new Kafka producer to produce a JSON message. So we have already a Kafka producer, but it will produce the string message, right? So we'll create a separate Kafka producer to produce a JSON message. So right click on the Kafka package new and then choose java class and let's say json kafka producer hit enter and let's annotate this class with add service annotation to make this class as a spring bean all right now let's configure the uh, logger okay so private static final and then use logger from self 4j and then this should be a logger equal to logger factory and then call get logger api and then pass json kafka producer dot class okay perfect now let's go and let's inject kafka template to send a json message to the kafka topic well here let's say private and then kafka template so Kafka template is from spring framework dot Kafka dot core and this is the generic so we are going to pass key as a string type and value as a user well we are going to pass user object as a byte array to the Kafka topic right that's why we are going to use user class as a value type here and then Kafka template so let's use you know constructor based dependency injection in order to inject kafka template so let's generate a constructor and again we don't have to use add or to add annotation over here because spring framework will automatically inject this dependency whenever this bin will have only one parameterized constructor so let's ignore add or to add annotation over here okay now let's create a method and let's call it as send message and in this case we need to pass a user object as a parameter let's say user and then data all right well within a send a message method we are going to create a message that we are going to write to the kafka topic right so here let's say message and make sure that you choose message class from org.springframework.messaging package and then we need to pass the type to this message class that is user and this is a message and let's use a message builder so make sure that you choose message builder from org.springframework.messaging.support package and then let's use its method that is with payload method and then pass user object as a argument and then call set header so basically we are going to set a topic name in header right that's why let's call set header over here and then kafka kafka headers right kafka headers and then topic name so let's call topic here and then pass second argument as a topic name topic name is java gets isn't it and next let's call a build method to build the message object now we have created a message isn't it next let's go ahead and let's send this message using kafka template so let's say kafka template dot send method and here you can see we need to pass this message right so let's call this send method and then pass message perfect now we have created a message object and we have sent using send method of kafka template object so we have created a logger but we haven't logged this you know user object yet right so let's go ahead and let's put the logger statement here in order to log the user object so logger dot info and then use string string dot format and then let's say message sent 
and then put the placeholder and then pass you know data dot to string method okay so we have created to string method in a user class right so that is what we are calling here now we have created kafka producer to produce the json message and send that json message to the kafka topic now let's run the spring boot application and here you can see spring boot application is successfully running on tomcat server on port 8080 and also you can see my group is the consumer group name and by default kafka provides the partition name that is java guides hyphen zero all right it means that the kafka producer that we have written for json serializer is working as expected okay in next lecture we'll create a simple rest endpoint to send a json message from the client all right i will see you in the next lecture